out again. So let's get it. Hello guys today in this video, we are going to help you to find out the best fitness trackers in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check our links in the description below. Number 10. Garmin Phoenix 7S Sapphire Solar. This year, Garmin released two high-end adventure watches, the Epix $1000 and this year's update to the Phoenix series, the Phoenix 7S Sapphire Solar, August 10th, Wired recommends. The Epix has a 47mm case and a large, brilliant AMOLED screen. The Phoenix has a memory and pixel MIP display. However, the Epix's case is huge, and the display eats up a lot of battery. I'd go with the Phoenix instead. This year's iteration has vastly improved battery life with solar charging. I got two weeks off one charge, with intermittent sunlight during a cloudy Oregon winter. Multiple GPS systems meant that it pinpointed my location with incredible speed and accuracy, even in the rain and under tree cover. It can record every biometric for every sport under the sun. And honestly, maps on the MIP still look detailed and pretty great. The downside? It is still fairly spendy, and earlier iterations do go on sale pretty often. Products with electrical plugs are designed for use in the US. Outlets and voltage differ internationally, and this product may require an adapter or converter for use in your destination. Please check compatibility before purchasing. Number 9. Coros Pace 2. For years, I was convinced that no running watch would ever beat a Garmin. That changed when I tried the Coros Pace 2, August 10th, Wired recommends, which is now my favorite. It's unbelievably light, and the battery lasts for weeks between charges, which is a feature you won't find in any other watch on this list. It also integrates with Strava for mapping your runs and rides, and it uses the same multi-system satellite positioning system as Garmin to trace your route. On the minus side, it has a basic LCD screen, an Evolab, Coro's analytics platform, meant to compete with Garmin's Connect, is still in its early stages. Accuracy can be iffy, a few of my outdoor runs were improperly tracked. But Coros also offers a ton of small, useful features like a locking screen and simple two-button operation at a very accessible price. Garmin's Forerunners represent an iconic running watch series, and this year's iteration includes drastically improved battery life via solar recharging. The Forerunner 955 Solar, $560, is a premium running watch for experienced, dedicated runners and triathletes, but it's expensive and large on my small wrist. The Forerunner 55, $200, is fine for most people, but you won't get two weeks of battery life out of one charge. Number 8. Mobvoi Tick Watch Pro 3 Ultra GPS. It's slim pickings for non-Samsung Android users when it comes to a more smartwatch Y fitness tracking experience. That said, if you're determined to go this route, the $299.99 Mobvoi Tick Watch Pro 3 Ultra GPS is your best bet. You get the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon Wear 4100 chip. That's big because this is one of the few watches that we know will get the Wear OS 3 upgrade when it arrives later this year. On top of that, it has fitness-focused features that the Fossil Gen 6 simply doesn't. That includes better durability and more in-depth sleep tracking. There's also atrial fibrillation and irregular heartbeat detection, as well as stress tracking. TickWatch Pro 3 Ultra GPS Smartwatch Qualcomm SDW4100 and Mobvoi Dual Processor System Wear OS Smartwatch for Men Blood Oxygen IHB AFib Detection Fatigue Assessment 3 to 45 Days Battery NFC Mic Speak. Technology keeps TickWatch Pro 3 Ultra GPS Smartwatch going up to 72 hours in Smart Mode and 45 Days in Essential Mode. The new customizable backlight offers you better visual enjoyment, makes the screen comfortable to read under any conditions, especially in the dark. Number 7. Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. 
If you have a Samsung phone, this is going to be the best full-featured smartwatch for fitness tracking. Not only is this the only Wear OS 3 smartwatch available right now, but Samsung's genuinely put more effort into the Galaxy Watch's health offerings. It recently beefed up sleep tracking, and the $249.99 Galaxy Watch 4's new 3-in-1 sensor also enables body composition analysis. That's a unique feature that no other smartwatch at the moment is capable of. You can also access workout videos from the Samsung Health app, though the production value isn't as good as Fitness Plus or Peloton. Keep in mind there are also growing pains with the Wear OS 3 transition. We're still waiting on Google Assistant coming to this watch, though you can download alternatives like Google Pay if Samsung Pay isn't to your liking. Also, some of the Galaxy Watch 4's best features are limited to Samsung owners, making it hard to wholeheartedly recommend this to non-Samsung Android users. Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 44mm smartwatch with ECG monitor tracker for health, fitness, running, sleep cycles, GPS fall detection, Bluetooth, US version, black. Number 6. Apple Watch SE. If you're looking for a smartwatch that does fitness well, then iPhone owners need to look no further than the $279 Apple Watch SE. Apple's mid-tier smartwatch lacks marquee features like EKGs, an always-on display, and SPO2, but very little else. If you're a relatively healthy person, EKGs aren't necessary as the SE still provides abnormal heart rate alerts. Likewise, Apple hasn't really figured out how it wants to best utilize its SPO2 sensors just yet. The SE also still gets you built-in GPS, cellular capability, contactless payments, and fall detection. It's also compatible with Apple's Fitness Plus service. Put bluntly, the vast majority of people will get the same experience on the SE that they will on the flagship Series 7. You might as well save the extra cash. We'd recommend the Series 7 over the SE only if the slightly bigger screen is easier on your eyes, if you must have the always-on display, or if your doctor thinks you could benefit from EKGs. Apple Watch SE, GPS plus cellular 40mm, smartwatch with silver aluminium case with Abyss Blue Sport Band. Fitness and activity tracker, heart rate monitor, retina display, water resistant. Number 5. Garmin Vivo Move Sport, most stylish fitness watch. While Garmin's made some truly exquisite hybrid trackers in the past, the price made them hard to recommend. However, the Vivo Move Sport finally gets things right. It looks like an analog swatch, thanks to the hidden OLED display, but you don't actually lose anything in terms of accuracy. For $179.99, you are giving up some things like built-in GPS and NFC payments. However, you do get push notifications and access to Garmin's entire fitness tracking platform. There are some more jewelry-like trackers, Bella Beats lineup or the Fitbit Lux come to mind, but the Vivo Sport Moves design is a lot sturdier for active lifestyles. Garmin Vivo Move Sport Hybrid smartwatch, health and wellness features, touchscreen, white. Include incident detection during outdoor walks, runs and bike rides, and assistance, both of which send a message with your live location to emergency contacts, requires setup and your smartphone to be in an area with network coverage where data connectivity is available. Number 4. Fitbit Charge 5. The $179.99 Fitbit Charge 5 is one of the most advanced fitness trackers you can buy. It's also one of the more significant upgrades to the lineup in a while, adding a bright OLED touchscreen, electrodermal activity sensor, and EKGs. It also supports smart features like contactless payments, notifications, and timers. On the health tracking side, it has built-in GPS, continuous heart rate monitoring, sleep tracking, and SPO2 sensors. Is the Charge 5 one of the most exciting trackers out there? No. But it does its job well and for a decent price. The only thing we're not super happy about is how enabling the always-on display is a mega drain on the battery. While the Charge 5 has an estimated battery life of 7 days, but that drops to 2 to 3 once you've got the AOD on. Otherwise, it's hard to beat the Charge 5. 
Fitbit Charge 5 Advanced Fitness and Health Tracker with built-in GPS, stress management tools, sleep tracking, 24-7 heart rate and more, black slash graphite, one size, S and L bands included. Optimize your workout routine with a daily readiness score that reveals if you're ready to exercise or should focus on recovery, requires Fitbit premium membership, band size, small, fits wrist 5.1 inch 6.7 in circumference. Large, fits wrist 6.7 inch 8.3 in circumference. Number 3. Samsung Galaxy Watch 5. Samsung's Galaxy Watch 5 improves on a winning formula with a more durable design and longer battery life than its predecessors, making it the best Android-compatible smartwatch on the market. Samsung smartwatches offer some of the most innovative health tracking features we've seen, including wrist-based body composition measurements and overnight snore tracking, tools that are not available on the Apple Watch. In addition to its ability to read your heart rate and take an electrocardiogram ECG, the Watch Series 5 can also assess your body composition using a process called Bioelectric Impedance Analysis BIA, the same technology found in smart scales. After a 15-second scan, the watch displays your skeletal muscle mass, fat mass, body fat percentage, body mass index, BMI, a measure of body size based on your weight and height, body water mass, and basal metabolic rate, BMR, or the minimum necessary energy needed in an inactive state. It also shows whether your results for each metric fall within the low, normal, or high range. Number 2. Polar Grid X the Polar Grid X is a best-in-class multi-sport GPS watch with a rugged yet attractive design, good battery life, and a wealth of useful outdoor-specific features. Why we picked it? The Polar Grid X stands out for its rugged build and useful outdoor-specific features. It offers all the capabilities you expect from a multi-sport GPS watch, continuous heart rate tracking, overnight recovery measurements, and personal workout recommendations, plus important extras for outdoor athletes, like refueling advice for long training sessions and events, route planning tools, and uphill and downhill stats. It's waterproof to 328 feet and has passed several U.S. military-grade tests, thus ensuring it can withstand extreme temperatures, drops, and humidity. Because of its suite of power-saving features, the Grid X can last up to 100 hours, just over 4 days, on a charge. With the GPS running, it offers an impressive 40 hours of battery life. Though it's a bit bulky for small wrists, it has a stylish design with a 1.2-inch color touchscreen that offers ample real estate to view your metrics, as well as 5 physical buttons that allow you to easily navigate the interface. Number 1. Fitbit Versa 3. There's a reason the Versa lineup is so popular. While it doesn't have all the bells and whistles, it's got everything you need in a basic fitness tracker for a reasonable $229.95. Plus, you can frequently find it on sale for under $200. In terms of sensors, you get continuous heart rate monitoring and SpO2. It supports NFC payments and has a microphone for taking phone calls on the wrist. Plus, you can have the option of both Alexa and Google Assistant. Unlike previous iterations of the Versa, this one also comes with built-in GPS. The Versa 3 also gets you about a week of battery life and the ability to get a day's worth of charge in just 12 minutes. Fitbit's platform is also among the most user-friendly, especially for folks just getting started in the world of fitness trackers. It's got a large community for competitions and one of the more streamlined companion apps. There's no lack of data, especially if you opt for Fitbit Premium. The Versa 3 also comes with a 90-day trial of Fitbit Premium, so it's something you can mull over before deciding to shell out. Sure. You don't get EKGs or the flagship Fitbit Sense's electrodermal activity sensor, but I'd argue most people won't end up using these features regularly anyway.